Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today I have a really neat trick you can implement into your reports to allow your users to interact and slice their data or you can use it as a legend. So for example, if we take a look at this visual, we have our shipping method, our orders, so we can see the orders and then our categories. Now at the top here, if I select technology, we can see that this filter or this slicer interacts and filters our data based on our selection and it's dynamic in its colors so it actually matches the category now we don't actually need to use this to map against the categories so if, for example here we have our shipping methods our category split but at the bottom here we have a completely different filter that we're using so for example east south west etc and at the bottom this is just a different view where we can slice our data how we want to so we can see that the line chart is dynamically slicing based on our selection so this is a really neat trick you can implement into your reports to allow your users to dynamically slice their data and is much nicer than using let's say a filter so for example if i brought in ship mode and then change this to a um, slice settings change these into buttons it's much nicer than buttons where they're, they're the same color across all of them so for example here if i change the background to blue every single color is the same these this option here is much nicer and the legend can actually match the selection as we can see so without further ado i'm going to show you how to create these so i'm going to create a visual so for example let me bring in ship mode um, and then total sales into our values and then a category into our legend and then we turn on the detail labels so we can actually see the data now in order to create the slicer or the legend what we need to do is if i select tree map and then bring in what we want to use as a slicer if we want to use it as a legend we bring in what the legend here is so if i brought in category just let's start off with legend well this is blank at the moment if I actually brought in some real data, for example, values, well, we're going to see, instead of categories, let's use ship mode, we're going to see that the sizes of these aren't even. What we need to do is create a disconnected table that literally will have no relationship with our data, but it will make this even. So what we're going to do is go to enter data, create a new table, so I'm going to call this filter table. Filter table, and in column one, I'm going to put in one. And that's going to create a new table here and if we take a look at this in our relationship view we can see it's completely disconnected from our data now what happens if i brought that into this visual so instead of total cells i'm going to replace this with the new column we just created let me bring that there and now we can see that it's actually even in size so if i made this small uh, smaller we can now see that we have a filter so this can actually be used as a filter because the the shipping mode or whatever we bring into details is related so let me just turn off the header so we're going to select format turn off title effects background and turn that to zero and if we make this smaller we now have a slicer that we can use so if i select standard class shipping mode etc because we base this off the axis but this can be anything you want it to be so if i remove let's say ship mode and then brought in uh, region into details we now have regions so this is a really cool way to allow us to interact with our data but because we're not using the category let's just turn on legend so it's worth highlighting and then from legend let's put this to uh, let's put this to right center now right now this these colors they don't, int they don't relate to this data and it's slightly confusing. If we use the legend, so if we took a look and use the le legend category, this will map out exactly. If I, instead of bringing in region, I brought in category, well, we can see that this relates to the colors. But if we use something else that's not in this visual, so for example, shipping method, then it won't. So we need to be aware of the colors. But right now, this is highlighting. If we wanted to make this filter, we can select this visual, go to format, edit interactions, select what we just created, and then on the visual, go to filter. And if we turn that off, now this will filter our data. So let's change this to regions. So I'm going to bring in region, and then let's change the colors. So data colors, I'm going to, we're going to go to format, colors, and this is what you can't do with the slices. We can't actually change the color. So with a tree map, we can bring in any color we want to. And we can actually place this wherever we want as well. So right now I have that at the top. I could bring this into the bottom 
I could bring this into the bottom, to the side of the visual. So if I brought this to the side of the visual, made this longer, made it thinner. We now have a filter that we can use that allow users to interact with their data. Or you could use it as a legend. So once again, if I deleted that, created another tree map, brought in the legend here, so category, details, the disconnected table, brought it to the side here. We can see that we can actually use this as a legend. It wouldn't work at the side, so let's put this to the top here. Make this slightly bigger, wider, and we could use this as a legend, for example, and um, align it. And as you can see, we can make our selections. And let's just turn off the title. And now, this is a really neat way you can allow your users to interact with their data. So we can place this anywhere. You could place this here if you wanted to. If you wanted to have it there, just play around with the size. If we put this here, we need to make sure the text is smaller. So go to edit. Uh, general, let me just find this, legend, it's not legend, it's category labels, and let's make the text smaller, for example here, and then we can make it thinner. But I don't think that vertical works, so let's make this horizontal. And we could put this at the top of our visual, and then turn off legend from the actual visual. And for example, we can allow users to make that selection. So it's really up to you. It's a really neat trick. So I hope that video helped you guys. It's really easy to implement and it's worth considering in your reports. So it's the Power BI guy and I'm checking out.